to Real Business Breakthroughs with your host, Judy Jewett. I am so grateful that you're here for another episode of The Lion's Gate. This is going to be a really special show tonight. We have a wonderful guest. I just cannot wait to introduce you to her. So just to remind you, just in case this is the first time you've been on, I'll just tell you a little bit about me. I'm on a mission to teach 1 million people in how to heal themselves. As a dynamic speaker and transformation coach, I have over 30 years of experience working with conscious entrepreneurs and corporate executives to reach their full potential. I have inspired thousands of people with my unique blend of inspiration, empowerment, and ability to rebuild and restore inner strength. With that, I am going to bring on and tell you a little bit about our very special guest tonight. Her name is Dr. Sandra Michael. Hello, Sandra. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha. I want to go ahead and, and just um, share with you, case we have new people that have not, um, they've heard of you, they want to learn more about you, or this could be their first time. So, Sandra, Dr. Sandra is formally recognized as a kahuna and having taught holistic health for more than 40 decades. She has done research and applied integrative biophysics, has earned prestigious recognition, such as a presidential international who's who. She has been featured in many TV radio shows, books, and articles with the things that she has actually done. She's done um, all over the world. She is an international, I can't, I cannot say it enough, an international healer, inventor of the true bi biosCALAR EE system technology. And that is really important. We're going to talk about that tonight. You may or may not have heard of the EE system. Um, I had the opportunity to be in um, an earlier version 23 years ago. So with that, I want to bring you on. Thank you very much. Aloha, Dr. Sandra Michael. Yeah, I do like to start everything by saying aloha, especially with this special timing that we're in with this 8-8 Lion's Gate. Well, 8-8 has to do with that infinity wave, zero point energy. We're at a zero point, but tipping point of energy on the planet. And it's a time of alignment. And I actually had a center in Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm talking more than 35, more than 35 years ago called the Heart Center. And we used to do Lion's Gate, you know, this meditation during this timing, even back then, 35 years ago. It's a really significant, powerful timing to work with uh, for bringing in that golden light of illumination, for bringing in this great awakening. <laughs> you know, because we, you know, it's an amazing time that we're in and it is a global awakening, but it's a very interesting star alignment, which has to do with the activation of the DNA. So I start everything though by saying aloha, because for a kahuna, that's considered the most powerful word in the universe. And the fulfillment of prophecy is that it's aloha that heals the world in the time of crises. And what it means is oneness with the breath and the perfection of the love of all life within us. And you're breathing in all the power, all the light, all the love, all God's love right into your heart. Again, that heart center. Breathing it into your heart and letting go. And it's that oneness with that breath and allowing that breath of light and life to flow out to touch the hearts of all beings to feel more love you know so that we're radiating and feeling you know breathe in all god's love right into yourself you can't share something you haven't let yourself have you want to have it all breathe it all in when you think you've filled your heart breathe in a little more go for that expansion opening up all capacities for love so the exhale is just a total relaxation and a total letting go because we're relaxing into a new place of peace, a new place of power, a new place of alignment, 
in that oneness with the sacred power, the energy of the light that expands infinitely through us because as we radiate light, as we activate the light from our very center of our being, the core, but activating the light at the core of our DNA, our very DNA, as we activate that light within us, as we radiate light, we are beings and bodies of light, infinite light, unlimited beings of light, sovereign, sacred beings. And as we radiate that light, nothing that is not of that light can affect us. So we're being aligned by that light, with that light, and as that light and highest powers of love here on earth as it is in heaven through us now. Wow. <laughs> that is so powerful. Yeah. So it's just breathing more light, more love with every breath. You can't have too much. <laughs> you cannot have no, too much. No, no, you can't. I can feel the waves, the waves <laughs> of light. Um, literally. It, it's actually, yes, it's actually, it's really beautiful. And everybody here are um, receiving. And when they listen to it, if they can't be live, they will receive the activation that you are so generously sharing. Thank you. <laughs> this is my job as a kahuna <laughs> to share those access codes. But, uh, but literally, I'm going to share a chant. The Hawaiian chants were designed to activate the DNA itself and, and to, to bring that to activate the DNA into total remembrance, to call forth the, all the ancestral wisdom all the way back to source, our, activate our light force, life force energy, so that we can remember who we are, all that we are, all that we're here for, and how highly we're connected. And we are here in the fulfillment of all the prayers, all the promises, and all the prophecies of all who have gone before us. And this is a powerful star alignment because in our, our core of our DNA, this is an alignment with the sun, you know, the, and we, we, we're not here just to wake up the sheep, we're here to activate the lions, right? It's the lion's gate. <laughs> and and um, so you've got that solar initiation, which has to do with remembrance of our sonship you know, that, that light and that alignment with the light. I, they, I'm actually going to share a chant that means let's pierce through the sun into the ground central sun and into the light that's behind all light by means of the sacred breath of life. Aloha. So um, it's designed to activate that DNA of our remembrance, but, but the core of our DNA is the light from the stars. We are stardust. We are starlight. I uh, could call it star seed um, and activate that light literally at the core of our DNA. That is pure science. And uh, this is an alignment with Sirius. So let's get serious about our light and who we are on the planet. And that, that alignment as, uh, you know, the Sirius is, is a very interesting energy to work with for this great awakening because it's about breathing that light so you're being aligned by that light with that light and as that light and highest powers of love right through your spinal column the spinal column is meant to be that standing column of light and we are meant to be as it's said in the bible we are meant to be pillars of light in the temple of god and when we stand in our power in our light in our love knowing all that we stand for, every cell vibrates and resonates with the power of truth. And it's the truth that sets us and all free because as we stand with our truth, all beings are called to stand in their own truth, in their own power, in their own light. The more we stand, the more we all stand. And when we stand together and be the greater community, when we come together, sacred communion, and we stand as the pillars in the temple of God, God wins. <laughs> sure does. God sure does. God wins. <laughs> yeah, sure There's does. nothing bigger than God. So let go of all fear. Fear was just thinking there was something bigger than God. We have access to unlimited power, infinite intelligence, unconditional love. Should we choose to accept it all? 
and let go and let God, let God work through us. We were meant to be the, the instruments of divine plan and purpose that we might function effectively and efficiently and powerfully and gloriously here on earth as is in heaven through us now. Um, so uh, I don't know how much time we have. I've probably gone over. Don't worry. All there is no time. The time has stopped. And <laughs> <Infinite>. actually, <laughs> We were uh, 808. Well, I'm sorry. We passed 808, but you were in the middle of doing what needed to be done. So we just four times it, you know, as that was that about, alignment of the pillars. We set, we set that before the show that 88 there, we would acknowledge it, which we did. So that's perfect. Yeah. And I like to give people homework. So I wanted to teach a chat rather than just just uh, share a, a chant of blessings. I wanted to teach a chant. And this is one that I've taught for different timings all over the world. In fact, I taught it for an 1111 in Peru when I was invited by the Ministry of Health and, and a medical school. We led a whole large gathering in this timing of 111111. 11, 11. <laughs> and I taught this chant, but I've used it in Hawaii. I've used it in, in Egypt, in the in the pyramids, which are scalar vortexes. And we want to work with that true bioscalar energy and activate all those scalar vortexes and the power within us, really activate that. So it's a chant. I'm going to share it just the words first. It's OM, like OM, you know, uh, A-U-M, OM, Akua. Akua, Om Akua means the higher self. Akua refers to God. Om Akua Ki, that's your chi or your ki light force energy. Ki, ah, brings it through. Mana, mana is your spiritual potency, your spiritual power. Ki, ah, mana, va. And Om Akua Ki, ah, mana, Va, va is the flow. It's like the flow of the waters of life, but it's the flow of that infinite waves of love, that ocean of God's love that flows through us infinitely. So it, it's a chant of alignment. And so it goes like this. Om Akua Ki Amanava. And so chant with me. Om Akua Ki Amanava Om Akua Ki Amanava Om Akua Ki Amanava being aligned by the light, with the light, and as the light, and the highest powers of love here on earth as it is in heaven through us now. Om Akua Ki A Mana Va. That's a, an alignment chant of activation. And I promise I'd share a chant also that means let's go into the light that's behind all light by means of the sacred breath of life. And so it's just going to be a short, but breathe and you can maintain that chanting. You're breathing light, breathing love, more light, more love with every breath, using all the energies to turn up the volume on your own inner knowing and letting yourself just know all that there is for you to know in your being here now to live your greatest light and greatest life. We've waited a long time for this time so that we can be here and walk the planet as the fully realized Christed beings here on earth now. And that's within us. And so that chant is Ho'upuka e kalama kahiki nae kahua kahihili no tum tahi ha'amahi nae va mehi iaka tapo laka i ka ulu vehi vehi nehi mai nae va ma ku'u alo ho'i no oe te tapu me na li i e yo la ma ku'a malo lahi E halai, e halai, e ha. 
Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, no, no, Makakina. That's a chant in honoring of the dawning of the means of enlightenment, because the great awakening cannot and will not be stopped. Let us be aligned by that light that is behind all light, breathing in that golden light of illumination, the Christ light in through the top of the head, down the spine, the spinal column, that brilliant column of light, and the golden light of illumination as we accept our sonship, as the beautiful, powerful sons and daughters of God. Here in, in the remembrance that we're all the royalty, the, the descendants of, the, of God, the sons and daughters of God with full power, full light and full love to share that because the only thing beyond that light and that love is more fully shared love. And so aloha, we're sharing that light and that love from our hearts with the hearts of all beings so it might flow out infinitely through us to touch the hearts of all beings to feel more love and that we're willing to feel so much love within ourselves that we're willing to allow the whole multiverse is to feel the power of the presence of the love of our being here right now right here in the sacred alignment and massive miraculous blessings to everyone with infinite waves of love and aloha healing energy going out to touch the hearts of all beings around the world around the multiverse to feel more love within us now glad we're here Thank you for having me on, Judy. <laughs> well, thank you for being here and I and uh, doing the activations and sharing the chant and teaching the chant because that's exactly what we all need to do is celebrate, mm -hmm. celebrate who we are. Because every are cell is celebration. Awesome. Every cell is celebration of that power and that light and that love and the oneness with what I like to call the orgasmic energy of creator and creation, God and goddess coming together within us and radiating that infinite love. Every cell, a celebration. Thanks for, thanks for letting me share. And, and I hope this oh, is. Oh, thank you. Let, let's talk a little bit about unified, um, what you're doing with Jason, if you could please share yeah. that. No, that's a good, a very, very powerful message in itself. I'd recommend that everybody go to unifiedhealing.com. Unified Healing. We're, we've shared the revolution of healing going beyond med bed technology. And there's a part one and part two, and there's going to be more coming out. We're going to be doing a live Q&A and, and things like that. But definitely go watch those interviews. But you can go to unifiedhealing.com because it's very, very important that we are the combined unified presence that can heal the world. And we have to come together and be the greater community, literally unified presence in the unified fields. <laughs> you know, that's what our technology is about. It's, it's, it's pure science, but it's pure spiritual science unified fields and scalar and photons and biophotonic energy and and fusion and anyway you can go into down the science rabbit hole we can really go there with the the quantum <laughs> well it's electrical mechanical structure engineering with the nuclear and quantum physics and um we just want to heal the world <laughs> so, but if you want to read more about the science, uh, I've done some talks for Tesla Tech, but you might want to watch uh, The Revolution of Healing because that went global. It went global, viral, virally global, and people are sharing it. And it's a message that it's just time. Everybody's ready. We've been waiting a long time for this time on the planet. And it's about us being the combined unified presence that heals the no world. No matter. And no. that is absolutely true. That's exactly what it's about. And this is really for everyone as you're bringing up and everything tonight is for us to focus on love, prosperity, abundance, and the unified world of all of us that are in the light, know the light, share the light. 
and stay in that light with no matter what going on in the world, whatever is happening, stay there because you will create more of where you are. So you're in that love of abundance and you're in that, that love of giving and sharing, then that's what you're going to get more of. Right. And as your DNA continues to get activated and we rise, we keep elevating more and more. That's where we will be. And nothing, as you said, can touch us. If it is not of light, it cannot touch us because light overcast everything. I yeah. mean, it, it literally does. There is nothing, no thing, no anything more powerful than love. God is love. And so I just want everybody to remember that with every single breath you take, that oneness with that breath and that love, the perfection of that love of all life within you. And as you give thanks, gratitude, he is grateful. Great. That has that aid in there too, really. Grateful. <laughs> the more you get to be grateful for, <laughs> the more that you experience and accept and enjoy the blessings and the abundance, the more abundance and blessings you get to share. The more you share, the more that you get to share. <laughs> and so thank you, Father, Mother, God, for the abundance flowing so freely to us and through us to bless us and all mankind, all humankind, the whole, the whole world now. Thank you. And now, and I ask everybody to share this video and then share it and ask them to share it because the activations and the chants will be with you always. And even if you don't watch this live and you watch it later, just remember that. And as we keep going through the lion's gate, keep listening to this and keep sharing it. And let's see if we can go around the world sharing that incredible love of divinity that we all are. That, that would just be a most beautiful thing. Yeah. Total remembrance of who we are. That's all who that, we are. Exactly. All that we have access to, because if we have access to unlimited power, infinite intelligence, unconditional love, what's the problem? It can all be easy. It's only a breath away ever. <laughs> exactly. One breath away. And and I do want to let you know that, the, that we do have Karen O'Donnell, which you know, uh -huh. and she says, thank you very much. Uh, just oh. to let you know, that is one of the live comments that yeah. came in. But, yeah, she wanted to say that to you, put a heart to, because I've asked people to share it. Yeah, so letting every cell <laughs> vibrate and resonate with the power of truth and light and love. <laughs> every cell, yeah, you know, letting every cell remember the power of the truth of the love of all that we are here now. Glad we're here. Thanks for letting me share. Thanks for inviting me on in this special timing and this special time of alignment. And again, remember your homework. No matter what happens, keep breathing. And then that chant is Om Akua. Om Akua means higher self, your highest guidance. Om Akua Ki Amana. Ah, being aligned with that flow of the greatest life and greatest light to us and through us to bless us and all mankind. Aloha. Okay, Aloha. with that, that we're going to go ahead. And she said, amen to that every cell. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Judy. <laughs> well, thank you. And um, I know that it's still early where you are and you still have a lot to do. So <laughs> yeah, get back to work. Back, back to work. Thank you very much. <laughs> Aloha.